Yo, what it do, man? This is Grind Face and a the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. And I'm Sunia. We've been together for 28 years, married for 23, 24, but who's counting? This episode 20, and we're going to talk about blocking out the noise. Sunia, start us off with this blocking out the noise. What you mean by blocking out the noise? You know what I'm saying? Blocking out the noise. So I was sitting and having a conversation with Demetrius, and... Is that me? Who else? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I was sitting and having a conversation with Demetrius, and I was telling him that I really admire him um, in terms of he really is the definition of not giving two Fs or caring what someone thinks. And the crazy thing is he's been like that since we were kids, and I would be just looking at him like, boy, if you don't sit yourself down somewhere. And he's never cared about how others view him. He's going to do what he, he, he set his mind to. And I have learned how that has contributed to his success in many ways, because many times when people don't see the vision, they're like, Oh, that's dumb. I don't get it. You should be doing this. He never allows someone to talk him out of his destination. Sometimes bad. <laughs> True. Yeah. Sometimes I just prove a point just to prove a point. Cause you can't tell me don't do something. I'm just going to be hard headed and do it. Sometimes he could be rebellious. But in terms of a business sense, he's very focused. Like when he has his mind made up and he knows, and you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, our son is like that too. When he's focused, it doesn't matter your perception of it. I think the only person you probably really care about who says something is me. Yeah, I, I get your opinion. But sometimes it, it still ain't going to stop me from doing what I'm going to do. That's when you want to be rebellious. <laughs> However, a million people can say that's a dumb idea he's still going to pursue what he's doing. And I just thought about it. So Super Bowl. No. What is it? The the championship, the NFC. Um, you talking about the game yesterday? Yeah. Um, the Eagles and the um, 49ers game, NFC championship. So he – um is that like the – because I don't – I only watch basketball. So is that like the conferences? Yeah, the that? conference championship. So okay. So whoever so, the Super Bowl. Um, He's like, he gets up that morning. He's like, I'm about to make a viral video. And I'm like, okay. So he's telling me his idea of the video. And we're going to the store to get the merch for the teams. And, you know, he's asking me, you know, should I get a hat? Should I get a jersey? I'm like, look, if you're going to do it, just go all out. They happen to not have any jerseys in his size. So he's like, it's going to go viral. Watch. I'm like, okay. So he does the video. And so... He posted, and it's just like a lot. It's more hate comments than, po oh, it looks, he's acting. Duh, obviously he's acting. Oh, it looks dumb. Oh, the TV is cheap. This, this, this. And I'm like, wow, like, it's crazy how he knew doing this video would make people mad, right? But on the other hand, most people will look at the comments and be like, oh, I look corny. They saying I look corny. And, oh, get, they and get discouraged because they want approval. Actually, Joe Osteen was just talking about that on Sunday, looking for people approval, and it blocks you from the, your destiny of what God got planned for you. Interesting, because I, I didn't even watch that one with you. Well, go ahead, finish. But that was my point of what you just said. It's like many times, because you're so focused on the approval of others and what they think, it will stop you and detour you from your destination. Because one thing I've learned, if you look at Disney, if you look at Steve Jobs, a lot of different people that were successful at their craft, many people didn't believe in what they were doing. And many times because a person cannot see the destination and they don't understand the end goal, they think it's dumb. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to you because you are not the one that the vision was given to. And so I always said, like, I've always commended him and was have been in awe and just the fact that, like, he's a leader. Like, I'm a leader but he's a leader on a nut. Like he really does not care. It took me years to master the craft. Of, like now I don't care. I don't care what you think. Cause your feelings is not my business. It doesn't have anything to do with me unless I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing. What you think about me is, is it's not my concern, but he has mastered the craft of not caring and to get to anywhere to, to be successful in life. You have to master the craft of not caring. Where did that come from? Like, cause you've been like just, that ever just, since I've known you. 
Well, it's just I never been that type to seek approval from others. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It just never I never needed the next man to accept me. I, I guess accept is I never needed that. It's like, nigga, this is me. It is. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You like it, you not, whatever. I don't need your approval. I don't need to fit in. I don't need to be accepted. I'm gonna do me and everybody gonna run behind me. I've always been like that since since School, I was a kid. That is true. You know like it'll be so funny. Like, and I never thought about it. Like we'll be out somewhere, family gathering or something. He would take his chair, his chair and sit on the other side of the park. And then before you know it, That's everybody start <laughs> everybody start congregating and taking their chairs where he, and he's been like that since we were kids. Even I remember in school, it was like people would just follow him. Well, I mean, typically that's what natural leaders, what happens. But you see leaders and they're leaders, but sometimes leaders are not, they they portray to be leaders on the forefront, right? But then inwardly, they really care about what people think. And, like, I can honestly say behind closed doors, he really does not care. The only time that I have ever seen him care about what somebody else thought is when I felt a certain way. Yeah. But see, the internet, I tell people, the internet, you got to be very strong for the internet because 90, 90% of the people on the internet is trying to tear you down no matter what you do. They, that whole mission is to tear you down. So at the end of the day, if you weak and you worry about people approvals, the internet is not the place for you because they, they coming for you at the end of the day. They want to tear you down. And, my thing is, they gonna build me up, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna feed them and, and give them what they want, and basically reverse it and, and just build me up. And they taking me to the next level. They really are. Thank y'all, haters, man, because you know the people that want to see me win, they don't say they don't help me with my positive. Why message. is that? It's Why just, is that? I don't know because the people. I think people just really don't want to see somebody win, and it's but, like, it's, but this it's is crazy. the thing. This is what I don't understand, right? So. Like, if I see something that really touches me, I'm going to comment in a positive way, right? But people can see something positive and they'll just scroll or exactly. they'll like, right? But if they don't like some boy. They're going to they say something. They're going to send it to 10 people and, and talk about it and everything all in the private DM group. You know what I'm saying? But this, but this is what's crazy is what I always say this. That doesn't tell me anything about the poster that tells me more about you, that you will basically spend your time writing something negative. But what is it within you that is so triggered by this person that you don't know who they are to get on here and start talking hateful? Well, you asking me, ain't you the doctor? You tell us what, what's what's going on in their mental state. It's a state. rhetorical question. Well, rhetorical back to you and tell them what's, what, <laughs> we, why okay, is they, we know, they, what's, what's, we tell know them about it's, the we, people. we know it's the inner issue. We, we, de- it was a rhetorical question. I wasn't asking the question for you to answer. It's, it's a rhetorical question. We know it's the inner issue. I'm just getting the, the, the listeners to think about if they are one of those people, what it says. Now they probably listening and hating again. Cause that's, they, I don't know this 90% of my audience is just don't, don't like me. That's just funny. <laughs> I don't think this necessarily that they don't like you. I think they probably don't like themselves because if you think about it, who follows someone they don't like my followers. No, that just, that, <laughs> that just doesn't make sense to me. Like if I'm not interested in what I'm, I'm following, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a follower. Like I'm not going to follow your page. So you have to like something about the page because if you didn't, you wouldn't not be there. Not only thing is to like about something, people want to pay attention and stay connected and hopefully see you fail. You know what I'm saying? I want a front row seat to see him get his ass whooped. Like, you know, you go to the box and you don't like the guy. You want to be front row seat to make sure you see him get his ass I don't think like whooped. that. I want to, I'm not Yeah, thinking, I don't think like that either, but I'm not thinking I'm going to see it. the person to get beat up. It's like, obviously, if you go to a fight, most of the time you have a favorite. But it's like, I'm looking to see them win. I'm like, oh, I want to see, I'm, I think they're going to win. I don't think I've ever watched a, a boxing match and was like, Oh, I'm about. I, I want to go see that person get beat up. Yeah, it, it's it, it's it's weird because even with me, man, I, I'm a type of I really support people and I um I like to see people win, especially if you're around me. I'm just it's just natural for me that want to see you win. I'm gonna pour into you if you if you're trying to get it. I'm gonna give you the game, share the information with you. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm just a natural person want to see somebody win, but it seems like I don't get that back. And it's crazy because it's not, it's nothing new to me. It's, it's been this since I'm a, a kid. It's like, Niggas just, just just be mad. Period. Okay, I don't know. But don't, <laughs> but don't. But don't you think that's a part of, um, God preparing? Because I've that's how I feel. Like everything that I've been through, I've been through since I was a kid. Like I've been lied on. It's just it's been a common theme of like character assassination. Or but at some point you have to look at it too and like okay, if this has been happening since I was a kid, you already knew my destination, so you knew I had to build tough skin to basically withstand when I get on the platform. True. True. I, I, I wasn't even listening to what you were saying. Cause I was thinking about what I was about to say. Okay. So basically for the people that tune in and don't know, I'm going to let y'all know since y'all really think I'm out here doing shit for clout likes and views. I get a big ass bag at the end of the day behind my content. So that's the difference for me and you. This is my job. I get paid for it and I'm living good off it. So I'm not out here doing shit for likes, views, or follows. Bottom line. I just had to let the new viewers know that shit. I think anybody that's Cause it, they, It's a lot of illiterate motherfuckers on the internet thinking shit is done for likes. <laughs> no, be, it, I wouldn't say it's a lot of illiterate people that think that because there there is a lot of people that do it for likes. They, so when they come across people that are actually getting paid for it, they just still assume that they're just doing it for publicity or to be seen. Yeah. So um, I'm about to make another video explaining the process but of hold this on, but, video. But, 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 but social media, if you're selling a product, is to be seen because social media is now like the new the new commercials. Yeah, it's a new commercial, but a lot of people ain't selling shit. Well, yeah, I'm saying for you the people saying? that's actually selling A lot of people something. just look at me, I'm cute, look at me. It's a, it's a, it's a syndrome out there that people do want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? A syndrome? Yeah, it's a, it's a syndrome. <laughs> you know, you wasting your time posting pics and you ain't getting no type of value, no money behind it. You lost to me. I'm not going to say they're wasting their time because some people are just uh, sharing, sharing important memories with family and friends and there isn't anything wrong with that either. No, I agree. I mean, if you you doing it like that, but you know, majority of people they out here doing stuff, and they, they, I'm not they gonna don't say know, majority. They don't know how to. They ain't educated themselves on how to get the bag behind this social media game. Well, well, we're in a society where the bag is not. That's not the goal. Is to be seen, is the goal. True. People want to look like they have money. They don't necessarily put in the work ethic to actually make the money. It's a difference. True. So um, let's go back to uh, basically blocking out the noise. So many times, like I said, I was just watching Joe Osteen on Sunday morning. He was just talking about that. Um, and y'all would be surprised. He actually puts it on every Sunday. You know, I do feed my soul every once in a while. So um, don't hate. Um, so basically he was saying like that would be worrying about man's approval and being that wanting to be accepted will hold you back from your destiny, your your mission, your plan. And I really do believe that because like, let's say if I, I, when I do put a video out and I get flooded with all these negative comments and shit and I just stop, you know what I'm saying? I, I let them win at the end of the day. And you're just looking at me like, damn. <laughs> I mean, we going to end this podcast, go to the room or what? I mean, shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> oh, you're giving them creep eyes and shit, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all just don't know how sexy I'm looking right now. Cause apparently she do, cause she she over there like in the days, like damn, <laughs> over here want to eat me like a sneaker or some shit. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh, oh my goodness. But go see. I got a uh, sidetracked it, so you got to yeah, run with it. Yeah, you did. You did. No, because I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking I'm, like you was watching me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> shit. You know, you was thinking. You was over here fucking lusting behind me. This shit. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't even talk. Go ahead, take it. Because you, you, you over here, you was thinking. No, you wasn't thinking. I don't know what you was thinking, but your <laughs> eyes was telling it all. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So basically, um, we was on the topic of um, what was it? Blocking out the noise, man. So we got all kinds of noise. We got, I mean, you got noise at work, at home. You got, you probably have a naggy spouse and stuff, always bitching about shit. You just gotta block out that outside noise and focus on your craft, your craft, and what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Once you tap into that, I think everything is is successful. Because it's not even about money. I think it, a lot of people get Passion. sidetracked about money. It's not about Passion. money. It's about what you enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's where the key is. Yes, you need money to survive, but, but you know, you know what I'm saying? That money ain't gonna make you happy. But I think when you're doing what you love, you'll do it. Like you play all the time too much, anyways. So you've always been a jokester. So this is stuff you would do, anyways. Now you just putting it on video camera. Yeah. And you know, I can't wait till y'all get get in front of the camera so I could have some on um, what they call it, some assistance. I feel like God would have to tell me to do that. That's just not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Mm, I don't know. I mean, people already know your voice. And I mean, no, no, I don't mind like getting on camera to talk about like educational topics or thing, uh, things I love about like that's not an issue. But like, mm, like getting on camera, just like a you feel you. It's not your lane. Yeah, it's, it's not really. Line. Yeah. So what kind of noise you, you feel like you block out to keep you on the path where you going? Do you get negative? Because you're not on the internet. So do you get like negative shit fed? You know what? Honestly, I really don't get. The only time I get negativity is on your page. But like on my personal page. No, I'm not talking. Well, you know, you're not on the internet. We're talking about in real (laughs) life. But but your life don't consist of internet. You act like, hold on, pause. Because he swears. I hate that he deleted my pages to make them his. Because I used to be buzzing. He he never wants to. What page I deleted yours? That was a personal Facebook page. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, it didn't mean shit. He never wants to give credit. I was buzzing. However, I never really get negativity on um social media. I think it's hard to give somebody negative. We you you talking about you, Okay, what not, are you talking you're about? Not What's the a question? Social media person. So we not talking about you you don't you don't post shit. So you ain't going to get shit. I used so we, to, I used to post you your, all the time. You in your everyday life, living life. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you got to block out noise to stay on the path that you're you're going? Of course. And what type of noise are you blocking out? And how do you block this noise out? Hmm. My noise could be different. Like, um, for example, I remember when I was first going to business meetings, and people oh your prices is too high or you know haters like I remember I had a $45,000 deal on the table and the principal got mad when they found out how much the school district was paying me for my program it was like oh my paraprofessionals and that I don't make this much the first lesson in business I learned don't discuss numbers with a person that's not writing a check um but that that is what I had to learn to block out you know not second guessing my price because this person said it was too high because they mad about what I'm getting paid, you know, or in a sense of now it's a lot of African-American therapists. When I was first in the field, it was very few of us. Um, and being compared to your counterparts, you know what I'm saying? Are always have to, having to perform at a higher level than other, everybody else to prove that you are a seasoned therapist blocking out that noise, um, blocking out the noise of being, a business owner, you know what I mean? When people are trying to want you to fail and hoping that you fail, but you're still figuring out ways and God is still giving you strategy to execute every time. So you're right when you say my noise is different, you know, or just having family members hating just because they see what you're doing on social. That's why I don't put everything that I do on social media. That's exactly why. Uh, My cousin, I just got a big deal. He was like, you going to put it, you going to share it. I was like, heck no. Like, I don't, I don't, tell everybody what I'm doing behind closed doors because at the end of the day, you know, some noise, it could be avoided if you don't tell people about what you're doing. That's, that's the point right there. You know what I mean? So some noise is like you, 
you can't you can't stop people from being negative or hating or doing what they're doing, right? I just say it's not my business. It's not for me to worry about. But you can watch the information you give them. Yeah, but you can watch what you feed people. You can watch, you know, the information you give. I don't give her like I had somebody reach out to me and I think they got offended. They were like, how much do you charge for your assemblies or your speaking engagements? I was like, I don't discuss those numbers. Like if you asking me what I need to write up a proposal, like if you my close friend, yeah, I'll give you that information. But I shared some information with somebody before and they went back to the same person, to the same company and try to screw me and push me out my deal. And so I've learned like some information is just not good to give people. And so th- that is the noise I block out, just understanding and using discerning on what to say and what not to say and who to say it to. Um, because I'm an honest person and I always felt like I could tell this. I I don't have a reason to lie, but at now, the end of the day, you, you just said you're an honest person. Do you feel like it's harder to be a honest person out here? No. What do you mean? Like, I mean, a person with integrity of uh, a person that's just that kind hearted person. Do you feel like people see that as a weakness? If you're weak, I think people going to see, I think opportunists going to see opportunity, whether you have, if you're an honest person or not, because they're, you know, they're sharp. But at the end of the day, I'm honest, but I'm not stupid. I'm honest, but I'm not meek. I'm honest, but I'm not timid. So I'm the type of person, I'm very chill, I'm laid back, but don't play with me. And when you mean don't play with you, like, elaborate on don't play with me. You know what don't play with me You mean like I'll fuck you up type shit? I mean. Oh, I'm going to pray for you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, back in the day, my hands probably would have did the talking. But no, when I say don't don't play with me, like I'm, I think people think because I'm chill. Well, honestly, no, because people think I'm mean all the time without even talking to me. But at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna play games. I'm very nice. I'm a very sweet person, but I'm not a pushover. You know what? But let's because you know let's take it back because you just said you know back in the day. Well, I don't want to talk about back. No, in the but day. it's not about talking about back in the day. I want to know. How do you, how did you get to the point of talking with your hands than talking with your mouth? That <laughs> that growth, because you no, know, it's a real growth. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, it's just just being. It wasn't no talking, and now today, it's all talking. So how how did you progress with that? Emotional intelligence, learning to articulate and find solutions versus versus creating a bigger problem but I will say this I wasn't one to bother people I didn't start stuff I just finished it that's the difference too but do you think you is, is you you more you more um let me say you know you learn how to use your words now than before I've always known how to use my words but you just never decided to use them that's but this is what you're not understanding. You're saying like I just walked around. Just I didn't say you walked around. I'm saying like basically, you was a fighter, and now you will you was talk, talk, talk it out. Use your words now. Okay. The progression. So many, okay. What, so what many made times you? I was fighting, I was put in a position where I had to fight. That's the difference. But I still seen you in position that you had to fight, but you didn't go that route. You use your words. You calm the situation down. So like, what? What made you change? What made you go and use these words? Because it was it was the time he was out there in the club, and I wanted you to fight so bad, and oh, you would, yeah. and it's like, and you pissing oh, me yeah. off. Like you gonna let her punk you? And it's like she you ain't punking me. She you basically look you used you used you know that's what I'm trying to say. What made what? How you get here? You know what I'm saying? This is how you get here. How can a person change their whole route and become? this person with words but this is the thing she really didn't want to fight when a person really wants to fight they're not going to do they're not going to talk for 30 minutes that's for starters two at the end of the day i knew i had a lot to lose on the line it's like everybody's out here people got their cameras out i'm not about to make a fool out of myself that's for starters and then one thing even when i wasn't in the position that i am now i've never been one for an audience like when people trying to put on a show and doing stuff that ain't never been me But the thing is, you got to learn, like, in life, it's like, is it worth it? You know, when I was younger, I didn't care. But once you start having kids and stuff, and see, this is the part I ain't going to tell you. When I was 16, I stopped doing that stuff. Like, 
after 16, when I fought, it was because I was put in position with family members. I didn't have a choice. You know what I mean? So it's like basically having something to lose make you rethink a lot of uh, of. I think it's reaction. maturity. I think it's growth. I think it's having something to lose. I just think it's like, it's not ladylike. Why would you want to be out there fighting as a grown woman because somebody says something you didn't like? I understand what you're saying about. If you don't know me and you're saying something about, are you saying something about me that's untrue? That's not my business. That's a personal issue. That's between you and you. Because I already know what you're saying is a lie. You have an issue with me for what? I could really say in my real life, I don't have issues with people. I don't have drama or where people is like, oh, I don't like, I don't, that's not my lifestyle. So if you got an issue, that's an issue between you and you. That's none of my business. So for me to engage in that, I'm the fool. Why would I engage in something that doesn't have anything to do with me? Again, that's between you and you. Hey man, you get a coin on that. Cause sometimes I still could be a fool. No, I'm still working on. How that. did this go to just blocking out the noise? Because that's part of the noise and how you you block it out. And I, I don't mean, have that type of noise I, though. Nobody comes I'm and saying, like I'm gonna fight you. I'm just saying it, it's not that you have it. It's just the point of, of you conquer that that before. You know what I'm saying? That's a, a trophy in my eyes. You you came from a long way of using your words and you know what I'm saying, avoiding certain situations. But you're making it sound I'm like, not making it. That's how you wanted to see it. Because you I'm came just, from it. I never was the type like, I mean. You if over you, here trying to justify yourself. See, this is. I'm not this, justifying. You're just painting a picture that's not the picture. I'm not painting no picture. I'm just saying how you, you it, it was growth and um, you changed in using your words and using discernment and getting out certain situations and not going all the way with certain stuff. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Got it. But noise comes in different ways, you know? And that's what I'm saying. As you say, like, I, the noise on the internet is cool, but I don't think I passed that You don't test. got noise on the internet. But I'm saying. You I'm, don't be on the internet. But what I'm saying, listen, the noise on the internet is nothing to me, but if that noise is right here in front of my face, I think I will fail that test. No, you won't. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it. No, you won't. So you think I would pass the test of ignoring somebody all raw raw in my face? That I mean, that's different. If that's what I'm saying. But it's listen, a, but that's different. Somebody in your personal space, I don't think anybody, unless you're just a fool and going to turn around and let somebody harm you, that's different. Somebody's, I mean, but those situations don't happen. You never know. Shit happens. No, we that's ain't going to even speak that into existence. God shirt. cover us because those situations don't happen. And I pray to God that they never happen because I don't ever want to be in a situation like that. Because in a situation like that, when your life is you feeling like it's a threat, I don't know how anybody would act. Shit, some niggas fold. <laughs> I don't think it's necessarily a fold. Some things is just you got to use common sense sometimes. Sometimes you got to basically in situations block out the noise. But if someone is in your personal space, like you could tell the difference between, no, nah, because in today's time, the talker or be the shooter. So you just really don't know. You know what I mean? Um, but I just I just feel like when you walking in the, a, a, a line with God, I don't even think it's possible. You know, people may, even the day the, the girl, the night at the club, what you're talking about, she never walked up on me. She was just screaming from across the parking lot. I walked to her and then she walked off. So she really didn't want to, she just wanted to make a scene. So I don't think it would happen. True. Okay. So what other noise have we got out here in this crazy, chaotic world? I think the biggest thing, the noise sometimes can be you. Mm, that's, that's deep right there. Now, how could we block out yourself? I, th I think you, you what you mean is like basically doubting yourself type shit. Like yeah, I think sometimes, you know, I know I'm a, I, I know I'm for sure my worst critic. Um, I'll probably listen back at this podcast and don't even want to listen to it because I'll be ready to like yeah, delete she do it. it all the time. That's why we that's why guys we don't have video because she's gonna complain about everything. No, I just like stuff done right, but sometimes. I have to sit on something for a few days before I really, because if I look at it at, in certain time frames, like I'm very hard on myself. 
And sometimes I could be, it could be bad because where I can put something out. I'm like, nah, it's, it's not good enough for me. And I think sometimes you could be the noise that needs to be shut off. Turning those negative thoughts into positive thoughts and looking at things from a different perspective. So I've gotten a lot better at it. But when it comes to like me putting out something, yeah, I'm very like, nah, I got to be right. Yeah, but, and I'm the opposite. I just don't give a fuck. He's quantity over quality. I'm, I'm quality gonna, over quantity. I'm just going to get it done. Take one, take and throw it out. Because at the end of the day, I really don't give a fuck what y'all think. Because even at now, I don't like this mm-hmm. podcast. This one, this episode right here, I'm already thinking about trashing it. But it's not getting trashed because it's already 30 minutes of my, and my, see, that's the thing. You don't understand. My time is valuable. Because you, know you went you all the way into, I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you about? ashamed of? Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's be, you, hold you, up, you, hold up. I'm talking about up, accomplishment and goals. Let's, 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 let's be clear. I'm not ashamed of anything in my life because it molded me into the person who I am. But when we talk about substance, I'm like, okay, we're going to have a conversation. Let it be substance. And I'm replaying in my okay. head. Well, you you still got the mic. Substance is up. <laughs> Throw some seasons on it. Flip it, marinate it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just saying how I, I appraise it. I'm with, of what they call it. I was appraising, not appraising. Praising. I was praising you for the accomplishment that but you the- did as you as a person you you grown into. A woman you grew into. But I've been like this since what? A long time? This isn't something that just happened you a few feisty, years ago. You was feisty, baby. Let's know. You was a little feisty, when? Fire, feisty firecracker. When? I say shit, all the way to your 30s. No. Shit. No. Like. Mid-20s? I'm saying feisty with me. Feisty how? What is your definition of feisty? Like what you, you was snappy, you wanna grab on shit. I was I was in an abusive relationship. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Cause you really gonna have people thinking that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Look, see, she worried about what y'all think. <laughs> no, I don't worry. No, listen, it's I don't care what you think. Right? But I'm never going to put something out there to make it be a question. So when you say stuff like that. You're you're adding fuel to a fire that was never started. You're giving them information untrue to make them run with it. That's what I would have a problem with because what you said is untrue. But do I care what you think? No. But do I care if my husband puts something out there that's not true to make people think it's true? 100% because you're giving them something to run with. I believe in giving people nothing but the truth. Because I'm not going to give you anything to make up a lie or to run with something about me if it's not my character. If it's my character, it's my character. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I say all the time, I stand on the mountaintop and say I'm wrong. But I'm not going to let you drag me and make up something that ain't true. Okay. (laughs) Stop looking like that. Well, go ahead. Come on. So, yeah, we just have to block out the noise something I, I think i've become i've mastered blocking out the noise that's why i'm able to create and i'm able to execute but what made you what what's the key of blocking out your own noise because that's that's the biggest thing a lot of people are having problems with is blocking blocking out your own noise and that can get difficult sometimes because you, you, you look at yourself in the mirror and be like damn I am ugly. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> how could a person just block that out? Like, fuck, I'm just going to go Why out here and put a smile that? on. <laughs> because you laughing, a lot of people do look in the mirror and be like, damn, you, you're you not going to say it out loud. You're not going to say it out loud. You're going to look in the mirror and be like, damn, that? I'm a little chubby. Oh, my neck is is a little chubby right here. I'm fat. I'm, you know what I'm saying? People do look in the mirror and basically oh, say these things to goodness. themselves. They ain't going to say it and tell nobody else. So how could one look in the mirror and just be like, man, I look one good One thing today. about him, if you know, you know him in real life, he has no filter, which is annoying sometimes when we're out and I'm looking at him like, dude, shut up. This is one of those moments. Because at the end of the day, everybody's beautiful. 
that's just the same shit when people, everybody get a participation <laughs> trophy. You get a trophy. You get a trophy. You get a trophy. No, this is not this true. This is what I'm saying. That you is might have true. A, beer, no. a beautiful, everybody have a beautiful soul. You know what I'm saying? You have a beautiful, but the outside can be fucked up. No. Yes. Listen. So when you look listen, in the mirror and you see this, listen, how can you block this out? Listen, everybody is beautiful to someone. Beauty is an opinion. Somebody could look at me and be like, True. she's ugly. It's an opinion. I know I'm not. I don't think I am. But at the end of the but day, But we're not it's saying not what somebody fact. else is looking. We're saying what you're looking at yourself. Your self-worth you're looking at. When you look in the mirror and you feel like that's just ugly. This is noise you feeding yourself. Well, okay. How can a person Ooh, let's Let's talk that? about it. Because if you're looking in the mirror and you're saying I'm ugly, then you're never going to reach your full potential because you are your worst enemy. I and never said yes, I, I was my worst enemy. I said I was my biggest critic, right? I'm never, I'm going to tell myself the truth. Nobody has to come and tell me the truth. If it's trash, Sunia, that's trash. Go back and rewrite it, right? But I'm never going to be a, my enemy to where I talk down to myself. That's the difference. I'm just honest with myself. Nobody has to say, you know what, that wasn't good. Because Sunia is going to tell herself that so wasn't good. So you're saying it's, it's a difference of being honest to yourself and beating yourself up. Exactly. Exactly. Because if I don't believe in me, why would I expect someone else to believe in me? I believe in myself, but I also believe in myself enough to know when it's a good job and a bad job. I'm never going to be like, oh, you're ugly. I'm beautiful. I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm great at everything I touch. So it's that self motivational, not even mo inspiring talk to yourself in the mirror. Can't of you. course you know i do that sometimes i look at my you know so people you know what i'm saying if you're feeling down and, and beating yourself up look at yourself and talk to yourself what they say speak into yourself mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying let, let me say it again speak in to yourself that will change your day you have a better day you gotta believe in you first and and, and before you can even start creating you got to first start healing. The first process of blocking out the noise is being comfortable and loving you. Because if you don't start that process first and heal yourself, you're ever going to, you're always going to be the noise. And then even, you, I like that because you can say block and start loving you. Because if you don't, if you can't love yourself, how could you let somebody else love you? True. I always say this, like, right, when a person is offended by something, right, or they get, well, not necessarily offended because you could be offended and not think it's true. But when a person really gets, if somebody told me I'm ugly, that's laughable to me. That's that's just, it's laughable. The only way you're going to be hurt is if there's some truth to what you already feel about it. It's making you feel some type of way because it's something subconsciously you, already been dealing with. you don't think you're pretty, right? Or somebody says you suck at that. And subconsciously, you already feel like that. So it is going to hit a nerve. You know what I mean? So the first step to ever being great is first taking time with you. Because if I get out and I start, let's say I started my business, right? And everybody was like, oh, your business is going to fail. And I already thought my business was going to fail. All you would be doing was confirming what I already believed. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit. Hey, that's just like the movie I just seen, Fear, man. It is we manifest stuff that we already got inside of us that's gonna come out and play out because we already it's feeding us inside. But see the thing about me, see, I think oh, our strengths are different. See, your strength is you don't care. I don't care, but you like a, a different level of not caring. But, but let's let's talk about hold even, on, let's I'm not go finished. Deeper don't, no, don't cut me off. I'm going somewhere with this. You don't care, even though we both don't care, but I'm fearless. You're cautious. One thing about me in a project, I jump off the building and catch my wings going down. You're going to, like, look over, see if it's padding. That's what you, in, in, in business and projects. I just jump. When I'm confident about something and I really know I got something and I want to do something, I don't care about the padding around. I'm doing it. Because you got a man that's going to support you. What? You know I got it if you fail. You're talking about financial. I, yeah, I don't know what the hell you talking about shit. That's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. 
What? I'm looking around, see if it's. I'm not jumping off shit. Period. <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I'm like, what the hell are you over here going with? You, okay, for like, example, shit. what I'm saying is like my job. 2018, I said I'm quitting. I'm because out. what 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 she said? My man got two jobs. But listen. Everybody hate Chris if y'all don't know. But listen, where you were like, it's not a steady. Like you were like tripping that I quit. And that you were trying to fill out the situation. I but factor, that's I factor any, in everything. I factor in stuff too. But what I've learned in business, you can't predict. There's some things you just can't predict. Who predicted COVID? There's just certain things you can't predict. There's things that you can forecast, different things like that. But that doesn't mean it's always going to happen the way you expect it to happen. You learn business by being in business and doing business, okay, right? Baby, what's the point you're getting to? The though? point is my strength is that I'm fearless. I'll walk into a situation, and if I have my mind made up, I'm executing. Okay, we got it. But let's Ooh, get back to like the so point of you saying my strength is I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's now, not what I said. Now, do you feel like that's some kind of defensive mechanism I'm using to actually <laughs> like be like he really gives a fuck, but he's just trying to pursue like he don't? Is, do you feel like as a therapist, is something wrong with me for not giving a fuck what people think? No, I actually think it's a skill. I think it's actually a good characteristic to have. If we talk kids to not okay, let, me, he, let me let me back up because you sh- sit down. Let me back up. It's bad when you're rebellious and when you're getting good information and you don't give a F. But it's good for confidence and character because you're going to do what you believe versus what everybody else believes. You could think about a kid. I remember my daughter. I care more than she cared. And she was like, she had a Hello Kitty dress. And the next day was picture day. She had wore it, let's say, Tuesday and Wednesday was picture day and she was like i want to wear this for the pictures i was like you just wore that though she was like you could wash it and i was like in my head like but the kids are gonna so i said well how do you feel about the kids seeing you in the dress again she was like i don't care i got a washing machine and so many times at a certain age a kid doesn't care it's not until people start speaking into that kid that what they're doing is wrong that they begin to care But if everybody kept that mentality of I'm going to do what makes me feel good, regardless of what other people say, not at the expense of others, but doing healthy things because I want to do it. I think so many people would excel in the world, in business, in life, in relationships. Think about how many times a person won't be with a person in in a relationship because they care about what their family thinks. Yes. Uh But it's the right person for them. Or they won't go to a certain college because of how their family thinks. Or they basically won't wear this outfit because somebody said they don't look good in green. Or job field. Oh, I'm not going to do that because my family said I'm not going to make that much money. So just imagine if people had your mindset of they didn't care how far would they go if you cared about what people thought grind face wouldn't even be grind face because people from the beginning were speaking against it from day one yeah they was that was deep <sighs> I'm done. that was damn i can't say that was deep shit if somebody was in the comments say that was deep you'd be like thank you no i wouldn't <laughs> Oh, so it ain't nothing wrong with me. There's something wrong when you're rebellious. And I'm that too. Right. And that's and, and so, and that's so is your that. son. And that's when something is wrong is when you're not listening. I mean, I listen. I just don't accept what you're saying. And that could be bad. But you just said that was good. No, 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 no. I said it's good. When it's not at the expense of others. Well, it's the same thing with somebody telling you something to do and you'd be like. That's hey, not man. the same. So if I want to wear this outfit, this is not at the expense of you. Right. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to wear it again tomorrow. Who said I can't wear an outfit two days in a row? That's not at the expense of you. But then when you're making decisions and I'm like, oh, I don't think you should do that. That mm, And you like, I'm going to do it. Any-. That's when it becomes. Like we need an example. Expense. So it's like same 
putting the other people at risk or something. That's what you're saying? When I told you, basically, I didn't think it was a good idea when you be- customized your car. Oh, okay. And you're like, oh, it's marketing. But it's like, yeah, but you're showing people where you're at when you're in your car. And then somebody bust out your window when we was in the store. Damn, Cindy, don't even put all my business out here. You on put the it podcast. on social media. But oh, anyways, damn. stuff like that when I'm like, why would you customize your car letting people know we're in this car? But then again, all my cars have been customized. But during the time that it was customized, people when we were out, people didn't know who you are either. And that was during the time where people didn't even know who the person behind grind face was because you never showed your face so situations like that is when i get frustrated when i'm like no you need to listen to what i'm telling you because i'm telling you this for a reason and then you you came to the conclusion like oh yeah you know what maybe it ain't a good idea if i should customize my car so so, so you so what did you learn out this situation you should not tell me but you should feed me and make me think it's my idea I, that's the stupidest thing that someone's <laughs> ever came up with. And I've heard people say that. No, you should respect what your wife is saying and understand that I'm saying it mm-hmm. because it's not it's at the expense of other people. Other people are in the car with you. So now, people out there, if your spouse don't want to listen because you're telling them what to do, just make them feel like it's their idea. Just push the idea to them and they will receive it better. Or maybe sometimes <laughs> things just have, have have to happen for them to see, for oh, them to be man. like, oh, you know what, my wife knew what she was talking about. That was a bad idea. Okay, that was a good example. You know what I'm saying, blocking out the noise. Um, you got anywhere else we want to go with this blocking out the noise shit? Because I think the viewers is ready to block this noise out. Do you think you should block out the noise of your spouse? Yeah, I t- sometimes. Your spouse could be naggy and, and, and bitchy and... It could be the time of the month and just constantly going I off. Said I said mean, you. Oh, should I black out the noise in my? Yeah, if she's bringing noise, yeah. What noise do I bring? You asked me a question. I just told you the answer. What noise? Do if I bring? she's bringing the noise, yes, it's up to me to block out that noise. I'm asking you in real life, Demetrius, a question, not hypothetical. If you say, is it what? What was the question again? Do you think you? should block out your wife's noise. Yes. When? It's not when. If you bring the noise, you keep saying I should if. block it. Because listen, you, you ain't, listen to the question that you said. Let me ask you the, your question that you asked me. Do you think you should block out your husband's noise? No. That sounds toxic. No, it doesn't. Because, because it's the noise. If the because we 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 basically summarize the noise is negativity. Oh yeah, okay, I can. So basically, that. if the if the, my spouse is bringing the noise, <laughs> yes, block that shit the fuck out. That you know what I'm saying. So I don't know where your mind is at. I was noise, something else. Noise equals negativity. Something else. Because what I was saying is, you should always be open to hear what your mate is saying. But I get yes, where you're but they're bringing it. noise is is yeah. different. You're in a different lane now. Well, well, this is the thing. If your if your mate is constantly bringing noise, then I, I don't think you should be with that person. Well, God said once you marry, you you locked in that shit. No, He did not. No, I sworn I read that in the Bible no. somewhere. Shit, no, 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 God no, don't no, like no. divorce. No, no. No. Are you married to the person you're supposed to be married to? Because, again, if a person that you're with is constantly bringing you noise, you might want to reconsider that relationship. Or maybe the both of you or one of you needs some healing to move forward in that relationship. And that's where I'll go back to of uh, you loving yourself before you, you can accept somebody else to love you. Because I think that's where all the noise is coming from. Your own insecurities, your own self-value, your own. And so you don't know how to receive that's the love good. from you know somebody what? else because you, you, you're dealing with That's a lot good. of shit. Because the noise can come from outside, but then you become the echo of the noise, and then you are who determines or confirms the noise. Yeah, whatever she said, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever she said. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Because she just took my my she just took what I said and just made it sound so more so much better and just you know i'm trying to shit on my shit no but i'm I'm done with this so i was saying is basically love yourself learn how to love yourself learn how you want to be loved and you will be able to receive love from somebody else because a lot of i I see a lot of good women dogging out good men 
because they don't know how to love themselves. And I see so a lot of good men. We can end it on. We can end it on that. We can end it on that. You know what I'm saying? We gonna end it on that. These ladies don't know how to treat a good man. Come on, close it up, baby. I don't know how to treat you. Close it up, baby. I don't know how to treat you. Close it up, baby. Shit. <laughs> 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 wrap it on up. <laughs> Answer the question. Come on, wrap it up. You it with that. Yes, my baby know how to treat me. Yeah, don't she treat me like a king. So there's a lot of good men that need to heal as well because they don't know. Well, that's the next episode. Let's go. Wrap it up, baby. Quit doing that because it's really, <laughs> <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves. Seriously. Okay, well, close it up. We don't want to hear this. this. These women don't know how to treat a good man. And Make these shit. men don't know how to treat a good woman. Don't be biased. So it get some self ways. healing and get a therapist and heal yourself. If you need a therapist, hit us up. We can find you one real good. No, go on psychology dot com today and look in your area, and you can find a good therapist. Oh, I just revolved to psychology today, huh? They're not paying me. Yeah, exactly. See, she she don't know how to work this stuff. But close it up for us. Go to psychology today dot com. Look in your area. You can look it up by insurance or whatever. You see their pictures, their profile, and basically if you need some healing, go get a therapist. But block out the noise. Anybody that's in your life, social media, not in your life, if it's not confirming with you, block it out. Because what people say about you is none of your business. It doesn't have anything to do with you. That's between them and them. Until next time, as I always say, continue to break cycles.